Hey folks, Dave here, and once again I am in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, continuing to explore and find new things, even tons and tons of hours into the game, now sitting around 165. I am at the Nilfgaardian Center Army Camp, and I actually discovered this not too long ago, because I always thought that it was like an orchard or something down here. So I just recently wandered by to find myself in the middle of a besieging army. Nilfgaard is the empire from the south, the occasionally rude empire from the south, that is invading all of the northern kingdoms basically. I noticed a side quest marker over here in the camp and thought, hey, this might be a good one to share with you guys. This is definitely a uh, very imposing camp. As always, I've got to take a second here to appreciate the environment details, like how the army has been stripping the forest around the camp to make all the palisades and towers. Love that kind of detail. Alright, let's see what's going on. All roads lead to Mahakam. I have come from far away, I... to seek my son. He served in the Nazari cavalry. I must find him, I simply must. I'm not one of your soldiers. This is good. Our army refused to help. Yet help is what I need. So much so, I will ask a rock troll if required. <laughs> Interesting train of thought, ma'am. Why'd you decide to look for your son now? He wrote letters. To me, to his fiancée, regularly. They would come in the post each week. And suddenly, they stopped. This was unlike him. Something had happened, I knew. His brothers in arms tell you anything? Some will not speak at all. Others lie. This quartermaster, for instance. He told me Herodoberth, my son, left the camp to scout and did not return. Why is that unlikely? He serves in the Light Cavalry, Nazari Brigade. My son was no scout. I require someone's help to find Herodoberth, or his body. Coin is no object. Coin is no object, eh? What's your son look like? Unlike others, easily distinguished. In all Nilfgaard's army, I do not think there was another with his mane. The color of fire. A red-haired Nilfgaardian? His father hailed from Magturga. Folk have light complexions there. My son inherited this trait and others from his father. May I count on your help? Do my best to help you. You will not regret it. There is nothing I would not do for Herodoberth. Remember this. I'll ask around, see if I can learn something. My servant strove to do the same. He drank with the soldiery in the mess, but met no one from my son's company. It is as if it has ceased to exist. You must speak to the quartermaster. He is dismissive of me, but he will be more candid with you. I can feel it. A mother feels these things. Guess we'll see. Hmm, an entire company missing. Suggested level 22. Alright. We're actually not too far ahead of the curve here. So lore-wise, Geralt is of course from the Northern Kingdoms, uh, the city of Rivia, and Geralt of Rivia. And he definitely doesn't have a lot of sympathy for the Elf Guardians, but still, uh, I, I think he would help in this situation. Compared to most Witchers, Geralt does tend to be a bit more empathetic. I'll talk to the quartermaster first.
Greetings, Quartermaster. Honor and glory, Geralt. How can I help? Ran into a woman, Nilfgaardian, who's looking for her son. I knew this one was stubborn. I did not know she would hire a witcher. <laughs> Let's say a mother's tears moved me. What if all Nilfgaard's mothers came to find their sons? Can you imagine? Only met one, and promised to help her. I'm to reveal our troop movements to some Nordling. <laughs> Apparently just for coin. Maybe a coin pouch will untie your tongue. You seek to bribe an Imperial officer. Exactly. But just because I want to help an Imperial soldier's mother. Take the coin and tell me what you know. Red-haired whelp, Nazari Cavalry. A short time ago, he and several of his company sought to desert. I ordered them pursued. We caught some in the swamp not far from here. Others managed to flee. The men you caught, what happened to them? We hanged them. Wartime rules. But I cannot say the red-haired boy was among them. Hmm. You're an elf guardian officer. Expected you to be more conscientious. If I had reported that any had fled, I would have had to pursue them. I've neither the time nor the resources, so I wrote that all are dead. Unlikely any survived long in the swamp. See if I can't find them. Interesting. So he might still be out there. The awkward part is that if I find him, he's gonna have to get out of here immediately. That is, I guess, if the charges of desertion are true, but I mean, then again, it might not matter if they're true or not. If the Quartermaster has already reported that there was a desertion, and half of his company is already dead by hanging, yeah, his only option is to run if he's alive. Oh, slower. This be the witch, man. nature. <laughs> Hangman's noose. These look more like Nordlings instead of uh, Nilf Guardians, though. Local peasants and thugs, possibly. Or just political rabble rousers that Nilfgaard decided to round up. Would not put it past him. Oh, this is us over here, it looks like. And we've got one dead horse. Deserters tried to flee on horseback. We're caught here, looks like. Yeah, probably should have stopped to the roads. Just some ghouls here, it looks like. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna say that this is them. something else to know for sure. That's not a good sign. He looks older though. I don't know. This just seems unnecessary right here. Oh man, even the water is bloodstained. Got a book and a note right there. And footprints over here. Then just some Nilf Guardian uh, swords and shields. Tried to run, but got stuck in the bog. Great target for an arbalist. Black hair. Not who I'm looking for. Oh, he got stuck in the in the bog right there, and they put bolts right to his back. Oh, more ghouls.
Okay, where did that note go? There it is. Letter to his mother. The least I can do is get it to her. But that's it. Dear Mother, this might be my last letter. My head hangs low as I write, for I have brought great shame on our family. I have failed my brothers at arms. In the hour of truth, my courage failed me. I ask no forgiveness, for I deserve none. I ask only that you pray for me. May you live in health, H. Hmm. Sounds like him, but... It's not his full name signed there, and I actually don't know what his name is. Alright, back to camp we go. Yeah, wow, that is a very imposing sight coming over the hill right here and just seeing a sea of tents. We've got some pretty decent fortifications here. My son, were you able to learn anything? I was. I wish to know the truth. Be it sweet, be it painful. I wish to know. Your son is dead. How did it happen? Hmm. Truth it is. He deserted, was caught, and hanged. Lies! Found him hanging next to others. Notice posted on the tree was clear. I do not believe you. My son was no coward. Believe what you will. Found a letter on him, addressed to you. Mother, addressed to mother. This may well be the last time I write. In all my letters I have lied. Forgive me. I am no hero. I take no pleasure in killing Nordlings. This place is a nightmare. I have borne it until now. I can bear it no longer. Not long past, they ordered us to murder prisoners. Do you know what this means? To kill defenseless men. I must flee this place. Oh, my darling child. Forever. You have found him for me. Your payment. Take it. Geralt Lorez! Wow, so that actually was him, and as usual, there was more to the story. There was a group of prisoners that was sent out to be executed, he refused, and his unit attempted to desert. I actually remember finding some of those prisoners that had been murdered uh, in a different area near here a while ago. So that's a pretty neat connection right there. Okay guys, what I'm going to do next is get Roach here, and I'm just going to explore for a few minutes before I go and find another side quest. Although I'm not quite sure why that side quest had the recommended level of 22, seeing the ghouls were only level 9. Okay, let's not ride full tilt through the swamp. <laughs> Hidden treasure. Ah, oh, this area looks amazing. What is this place? Looks like some kind of... what is this? 
Is that a bridge or a cave entrance or... Also, what is that noise? Oh. That would be a fiend. That is a nasty, nasty monster, even at level 22. I actually have only fought one of these before. Well, I can't find him in the bestiary, so I'm gonna go for... Relic Oil. See if that works on him. Oh yeah, he saw me. This is a scenario where NVIDIA hair works really shines. Look at that hair. Let's set that hair on fire. I'm trying to keep my distance here. That's terrifying. Good hit. There we are. I was trying to get the fire off in the water. It's awesome. That single hit stunned me there. Okay, he doesn't hit too hard. I'm gonna go in hard here for the kill. Oh, oh the eye. You gotta watch that third eye he's got. I can put Geralt into like a trance. trance here. I gotta be careful while I'm hypnotized. He gained some health back during that too. Whew. Gotta watch out for those uh, quick turnarounds. Fast too. Oh wow, his hair was smoking. No, 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 no. There he goes. Sinking into the water. Wow, even creating waves there. Fiend dung. <laughs> oh, wow. That looks amazing. He's got some unusual markings, too. I don't remember the last fiend that I fought having those red and black markings. That was a pretty good fight. Definitely a monster that needed to be gotten rid of. Looks like a lot of peasants have stumbled through here. What is this place? Ooh, a bandit. Bandit's key and bandit's notes. What you got for me, Mr. Bandit? There you are. What's that, dear Papa? You're kicking us off the family plot. Your younger sons are good-for-nothings who deserve a mess of porridge at most. You're gonna give Joffler everything, and we're going to go make our own sorry way in the world. 
well, we went, Papa, we went, and now we've our own plot. Sure, might be a hill barely sticking out of the bog, a few trees and some rushes, no crops will take here, but we don't mind. There was no room for us in the fields, so I guess we'll just never touch rake nor hoe ever again. What's that you ask, Papa? How do we plan to live? I'll tell you. We've never met with such good, with much good from our fellow men, so we've decided to repay the favor. Either they'll give us what we want, or they'll end like you, Papa. You and your dear Juffler, with a knife between their ribs. Dark. I'm gonna guess that that key was for this shelter here, and I want to check this thing out, like... Easy there, Geralt. Oh, this is so cool, it's like a survivalist swamp shelter. Pine logs for the roof, built right into the rocks right here. As always, the environment art and level design in this game just makes you want to explore everything. Let's check out what's inside. Can I check out what's inside? There it is. Ooh. All kinds of treasure. Silver Sword, Master Crafted Wolven. Where did these guys find that? Let's see, some crafting supplies. Pork, silver, florins, Vanard Breastplate, and Mahakaman Steel Sword. Villa's Runestone, and, ooh, Daystar. Some nice saddlebags, too. I have most of this stuff already, but... Yeah, I already have the good saddlebags. That'll be worth some coin to sell, though. Wow, this Daystar sword is actually more powerful than the uh, Emmentaler. The Emmentaler I found a while ago in a very awesome uh, treasure side quest. I mentioned that last time, but uh, did not expect it to be outdone already. Let's see. The Daystar is at 80% damage. Let's repair that out. There we go. And what runes do I have for it? Bleeding, as well as attack power, burning... I think I just have the 2% for the burning runes. Yeah. Uh, it's already so good, I'll just use some of those up. Increase the ability of this thing to burn. Okay. Looks like he washed ashore there. Where do I go from here? Looks like we have, oh, an abandoned village back here and then one area of interest over in this direction. Come on, Roach. Let's head back and check out this village. awfully close to our rebel bandits hideout. Come on! Oh! Hello, bandits. Oh! Wow, I just ripped him in half. Well, might as well try out Daystar. Check out the runes glowing right there. It's a beautiful sword, but man, it looks nasty, too. Gonna kill you! I just totally destroyed both of your friends. Really, you want to keep going here? Custom. Custom 
curses. <laughs> yep. Level seven. <laughs> there goes the head. No chance. Oh wow, yeah, this guy, I cut him entirely in half. Weapon repair kit though. Hardened leather. the ragged remains of a Nilfgaardian guard tower. Looks like even the Nilfgaardian army has pulled back from this swamp. On we go. I see some tents over here. What is this? Whoa! Nilfgaardian shields. Go, go. boat. This is the far side of the swamp. I wonder if this is where the deserters were heading. There's an axe. Nobody here, though. Hmm. Oh, there are some wolves. Oh, a lot of wolves. Of course. Roach is about to panic, so I'm gonna just keep moving here. Put my sword up. This is a friendly looking forest. Not so fast, Roach. Oh, it's a wolf chasing some deer. Wolves chasing some deer. That's what I thought. There's some kind of marker out here. I see a bog hag, it looks like. Ooh. Deep water, deep water. What now, you piece of filth? <laughs> oh. Ah. Did Amy <laughs> right as she went into the mud? Whoa. Oh, almost cut her in half too. Let's see what kind of treasure we're looking at. Magdira Cures. Not terrible armor actually, but it's heavy armor and not quite as good as what I'm already wearing. be a beautiful sunset here in the swamps if it weren't for all the horrific monsters and dead horses. Oh, and the poisonous gases, I guess. There are a few more notice boards for me to check, so in the interest of doing some actual side questing here, I'll do a bit of fast traveling 
and we'll go check out some of those notice boards. And we're back, guys. We're in the village of Lindenvale, I believe. And the notice board is going to be right up here. Someone's selling peat. Peat diggers wanted. Um, buy friends a fool and a lout. Missing dog. Cloth bleaching, and here's our contract. Walking the woods recently, I spied some odd tracks and couldn't for the life of me figure out what left them. Um, there's a reward, so... Let's check it out. Hear about the contract. Any idea what this monster is? Nay, but proper huge it must be. Slaughtered no less than a dozen wolves. Ripped their guts out, but left lots uneaten. Means malice rules it. Makes it kill. Howls and bellows, night something fierce. Folk are afeard to venture into the woods, though hunger grips the village. Normally I would haggle for my reward, but... This is a small, poor village. I'll show some compassion. Also, I already have a significant amount of gold. Fine, I'll take care of it. Fortune smiled upon us when it brought you here. Good hunting to ye! Search the forest. Yeah, it's not too far. Kind of obvious if you consider that I can hear it from the village at night. Whatever it is. Um, hmm. No tracks in the woods. Tracks down here in the uh, low area of the road, though. Big. Really big. Okay. Ooh, claw marks. That looks like a werewolf. I don't know though, those paw prints might actually be too big. Did he climb the tree? I think he did. Left a lot of fur when it rubbed against the trunk. Scent's still there. Okay, follow the scent from the fur. There it is. Oop. Going left. Looks like we have a victim I here. Another way. Stinks like fiend shit. Right. Old and dried out. Fiend's been around a while. Ah. Another fiend, eh? This actually overlooks one of the rivers that goes south. I think the other fiend was right about that direction. Find a way into the cave. Oh, climb Geralt, come on. Come on. There we go. Do a save here while I look for the entrance. Some kind of old, old something here.
I don't see any exits to the cave back here. So I wonder if I can just drop down on top of it. Or is it right here? Well, the answer to that question was no. <laughs> That's an embarrassing way for a witcher to die. I'm gonna search a bit harder for a second entrance because the slide down into the uh, mouth of the cave does not seem to be working well for me. beautiful sunset here but if it gets dark it's gonna be even harder to find the entrance to this place I might be overthinking it but I feel like there could be a hidden entrance somewhere let's look for any clues with the witcher senses not seeing much wait stinks like fiend shit Right. Old and dried out. Fiend's been around a while. So maybe there is a way to get in up here. What if I approach it from right here? Coming at an angle like this. There we go. Just had to bounce my way in. Porch seems to hurt more than help. Not anymore, though. Oh. The heck? Died recently. Wonder what killed it. Something killed this fiend and ripped its antlers off. That's concerning. some loot here. Ooh, manuscript. Superior grape shot. Awesome. It's one of my favorite bombs to use. Also, that treasure chest landed on that guy. Sword in hand. That is bad luck. Wait. Is this the entrance right here? It was. There was a hidden entrance. I knew it. Leave it to me to do things the difficult way. It's okay, my Geralt's got some sweet parkour skills. Oh, Prince. The fight lasted a while. So it was a long fight. Another trail. Track's too small for a fiend, though. I wonder if I was right. Is this a werewolf? Both lost loads of blood. Why would a werewolf challenge a fiend, though? Especially in its lair. Tufts of blood caked fur. Second beast was a different color. That short. It's gotta be. Probably competed for territory with a fiend. Hmm. Have to lure him here somehow. So it's a chort named Howler. Chorts are smaller than fiends, but still big enough to kill. Hmm. Wow, those eyes and horns. That thing is demonic looking. Relic oil and devil's puffball, it looks like. Says I need to prepare some bait. And Geralt apparently has uh, a manuscript here that could help. So I'm gonna go ahead and meditate. Okay. 
that refilled my bombs, and now I'll go ahead and create the formula. Short lore. That's cool. I used fiend dung from the fiend that I killed to make the bait. So I need to place the bait in my inventory. There you are. And then go pour it around the hill here. It's a good morning for a fight. Looks like the first spot's gonna be right here. Done. Ought to attract the choice attention. I like how casually he just pours out the pace. Dramatic bait pouring sunrise. <laughs> I should be able to get back around. I think right here. Yeah. Oh man. That sunrise. Oh yeah, where was that entrance? Oh, it was just a hole. I almost walked right into that thing, I bet. It's a neat cave system, though. As always, I love those small details. You'll smell this five miles away. I probably smell like it, too. Beast's sure to show. Just gotta wait in the cave. Go ahead and get my relic oil ready. There you are. And I'm gonna drop down the hole and just see where it leads. Oh! Once again, almost ran right into it. Easy. Easy, Geralt. Yeah, that's quite the drop. Ow! Come on. As bandits and villains say, I'll make the names of you. You are ugly. Okay, fire works well. Not having my Quinn up does not work well. Stunned me, but I got some health back out of it. <laughs> Stuck on the wall. Oh, no he's not. That was a waste. There we go. Get him with Igni here too. Fire seems to work really well. Oh! This time that way. Oh. That one did almost nothing to him.
That one did though. Go for the strong attack. Nope. Yeah, you're done for, buddy. I'll go with Igni again. Oh, he's poisoned too. And down he goes. Don't want the mushrooms. I want his head. Ooh, Azur Wrath sword too. Oh, and raw meat, goody. <laughs> Yep, that's one missing head right there. Howler's dead, and it's not even 5.30. Not bad for a morning's work. I'm gonna go back, get my reward here, and then, as tradition demands, play a little bit of Gwent to round things out. That'll set me straight. Run, Roach. So fast, Roach. Went to the forest for breakfast yesterday. Do not hear the huntsman. But some fiend prowls the thickets. What am I to heat my hut with? Cow hats? We have none of those since they stole the cattle. <laughs> Woman fussing with the other one for going into the woods despite the hunter's warning. Oh, I. The Chort was prowling the nearby forest, found itself competing for territory with a fiend, so it turned aggressive. A Chort? Fiend? Why they be bothering us? Think more'll come? Think they've done made a pact to take our village? Doubt it, but I'll be sure to keep my eyes open and see if there's anything else out there. Cheers then, Witcher! Here, <laughs> take the purse. All the folk of the village chipped in. Thanks. Take care now. Okay. And there is my well-earned oh, you coin. Us, you got a friend in me, always. When I grow up, I want to be a lad. Like I said, guys, it's time to round things off with some Gwent. I'm going to play my Monsters deck to mix things up here. <laughs> also, once again, man, that sunrise is beautiful. What? Well, let's see if this guy's going to be any competition. A game of Gwent. How about it? Monsters deck it is. Northern Realms. Wow, I have a lot of decoys. Don't need two vampire cards and don't need two crones. This is a really strange draw. I'll start with a spy. Hey, they had a spy too. Get to use at least one of these decoys. Oh, wow, they have multiple spies. Okay, this is actually a, a useful draw. <laughs> you guys aren't aware, spies, uh, you play on your enemy's side, and they give you two cards from your deck. I'm using my decoy cards here to steal his spies off of my side, and then play them against his side. Yeah, he's got lots of spies, but I don't think his actual deck is very good. Ugh, oh, I got two clear skies. That's useless. Um, what will I do here? I'll do... him Lyrith. And then... I'll have to do... Ice Giant. That puts me at 15. 
but uh, yeah, he's still got quite a few cars left too. This could get really interesting. I'll play my muster here right off the bat. See what he does. Okay, he's got a medic. All right, he medic to spy, taking his cards back up to eleven. I'm gonna actually use my third decoy card and steal it back again. I did not think those were actually gonna be useful. Well, the vampire's not worth much, but the commander's horn is. I'll go ahead and use that. Takes me up to 35. Hopefully he has no Scorch card. Hmm. Should I play Vampires too? I'll play Vampires too. That'll muster more cards for my deck. That's a huge score there. I'm going to actually be an extra bit of a jerk. I'm going to use my uh, King's ability here. Discard two cards. In this case, the two clear weathers. It's a gamble. And then pick the card of my choosing from the deck. What I'll choose here is... Oh, man. Hey, look, a fiend. I'm going to choose Dandelion, because he's basically a commander's horn for the close combat row that doubles the values. There's a mess. Well, this is the extra jerk move here. Uh, his close combat row is now worth 10, so I'm going to play uh, my dragon card here. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. It's going to scorch both of those five cards. Okay. Play a Geralt. Plays Yarpin. Only worth two. Yeah, his deck is not that great. I'll play the Chiron here. Gonna add plus one. Which then gets doubled to plus two for that entire row. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say, guys, even though I'm heavily stacked on the close combat road, they're not gonna win this one. Well, let's just make this painful. 174. <laughs> Another 15 from Siri. Yep, yeah, they're down to their weather cards here. Wow. <laughs> 195. I will play Yennefer. I won with a score of 202. Well, that wasn't really a challenge, but I enjoyed it. And uh, I think I'll just take my victory right there. I've been playing for longer than I planned. But I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I do love this game, and I'm looking forward to actually completing the main quest eventually and then bringing you guys what will most likely be a couple of videos on my final thoughts on the game. This is an experience that I think is going to stick with me for a long time and uh, I've really enjoyed sharing it with you guys. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.